Huh, why does Holt look so worried? What are you talking about? He looks exactly like he always does. To you, perhaps, but I finally learned how to read his emotions. His lips are slightly pursed and he's blinking at eight second intervals as opposed to his normal 10. <gasps> oh my God, he's having a meltdown. Meltdown seems excessive. No, it's a meltdown, mark my words. Right. Hey there, Captain, everything okay? No, I'm having a meltdown. We have a few more questions for you, Doctor. Doctor, huh? <laughs> it's funny when people call dentists doctor. We are doctors. We do four years of medical school. Now it's called dental school. But we learn about the entire body. Yeah, but if you had cancer, you can call it dentist. You know, it's actually harder to get into dental school than medical school. Why? Because there are fewer dental schools. Because most people want to become actual doctors. That's ridiculous. It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves doctors. It's not the same thing, my friend. Well, sure it is. When someone has a heart attack on a plane, do they yell out, yo, does anybody here have an art history PhD? A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Maybe let's refocus. No, the problem here is that medical practitioners have co-opted the word doctor. Okay, Captain. Now, I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. <sighs> Apparently, that's a trigger for me. Yeah. Apparently. Bonjour, mes amis. Oh, someone had a good time in Paris. Oh, Kevin and I shared a perfect week together. I feel like I'm floating on a croissant. I wonder why people don't just break into song more often. I've been asking you for months if I could answer the phone like, who death? Give it a whirl, girl. Guys, he's rhyming, he's telling Gina to sing. Captain Holt is on a vacation high. He will say yes to anything right now. I would like a police horse, and I'd like Terry to be riding it almost constantly. I'd like an HR person to remind everyone about workplace boundaries. The Japanese make toilet seats which squirt a heated jet of water right up your- I'm gonna stop you right there, bud. What we need in here is an armored personnel carrier. A tank! Two tanks. I want a tank, too. Great, so everyone gets a tank. Just remember, we can't ruin Captain Holt's vacation high, so no one say anything that'll upset him. Oh, no, what are those morons doing in there? Well, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe they didn't upset him. What'd you do? What'd you say? Nothing. We just said, welcome back. <laughs> and laughed with him about all the weight he gained in France. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone just standing around? Get back to work. So long, Tank. Tank! I gained three pounds in Paris. Three pounds! Jake, hurry up, I'm starving. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just had to grab my wallet. Gentlemen. Fine, I was trying something and it didn't work. I bought a bundle of novelty shirts at a nearby gift shop. This one says, what's up, beaches? Instead of bitches for humor reasons. But you hate humor. Well, I'm a joke now, so it suits me. This place is so romantic. Yeah, and so intimate. Don't worry, I'm not listening to you. I'm just thinking about how this sea bass is cold, but not as cold and cruel as the hands of fate that have thrust my entire life into darkness. Damn it, I just ordered the sea bass. Oh, babe, this is so nice. There are hot stones on our butts for no reason. Not on mine. My butt stones keep falling off because I'm so tense about Holt being here and ruining everything. It hasn't been that bad. Really? Oops, sorry. Can't even float right. Just push me away. Everyone else does. It's not great, but as long as we stay in here, we're safe. We're all to Santiago. I'm in your room. What? How? The patio door was open, I pushed through the hedge. Tell me, what is it about me that screams loser? Yeah, you know, we're kind of in the middle of getting massages right now, sir. Oh, how thoughtless of me. I'll get down here so you can see my face. Oh, no, that's... Uh, hello. The question was, what is it about me that screams loser? Ding dong, the lunch is dead! Bagels for everyone! So I guess you believe it now. Yep. Want to see the selfies I took? Actually, yes. I'll share the album with you. Oh my god, I just heard about Wunsch. She was so young. For a redwood tree? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. Why are you crying? A person is dead. I feel sad. That's insane. You don't feel sad when a monster dies in a monster movie. In E.T., do you feel sad when E.T. dies? Yes! He wasn't a monster. He caused a real commotion. It isn't just Wunsch. I started seeing a fertility doctor, and she has me taking hormones to help with ovulation, and my emotions are in overdrive. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. Wunsch is dead! Bagel! 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 Cheddar has been kidnapped. Someone took our fluffy boy. Oh my god, what happened? Well, Cheddar and I walked to the bakery together, we shared a plain scone, then we went to the park and I let him off leash. He 
Never came back. Someone took our fluffy boy. Right, you mentioned that. Now, just to be clear, you didn't actually see someone take him, right? So there's a chance Cheddar just ran away? You know, like some dogs do. Cheddar isn't some dog. He would never do that. Someone took our- Fluffy boy, yes, I understand. I need you to drop everything. Nothing in the world is as important to me as this dog. I wouldn't say nothing. For example, you and I are very close. We don't have time for this. Okay. And kidnapping's the first 48 hours are the most crucial. Right, and in dog years, that's only seven hours. Why would you say that? This is why everyone prefers that dog to you. Everyone? Okay, sir, the kidnapper should be calling with his demands any minute. If we can trace his location, we can find your fuzzy boy. Not fuzzy, he's fluffy. We don't know what he is anymore. He could be fuzzy, he could be anything. Raymond? He could be scruffy. Now you've upset Kevin. I hope you're happy. Why would I be happy? I clearly just mixed up Fuzzy and Fluffy. Just, you're fired. I want your shield and your piece. You took the wrong Fluffy boy! I will not rest till justice is served. There's no time to waste. This case is urgent. Oh, boy. All right, listen. The case may not be quite as urgent as once thought. Um, I dug it up out of my desk so you'd have something to do on weekends because you seem so lonely. You cited chatter from the streets that Garibaldi had resurfaced. I did, I did, I did. But said chatter may have been fudged. So you lied to me. Out of pity, you pitied me. I wouldn't put it that way. I would. I am offended. I am angry. I am very tired. So I'm going to take a nap. But when I wake up, oh, you are in for it. How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? I was just trying to help. Wow, your help feels an awful lot like pity. So do me a favor and don't ever help me again. Wow, well, you didn't seem to mind me helping you when I got you your job back at the 9-9. I didn't ask you to do that. <gasps> you said we were out of peas, you pee hog. You're the pee hog. You're the pee hog. No, you. You take you. back. Ah! 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 Double poke. Ah! Yeah. 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 Is uh, everything okay, Santiago? No, I lost my ring. Did you see where it went? Actually, it's behind one of these three doors. Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again.